Monday, uh, April 15th, coming to you live from the open store. Hopefully you can hear the road. Uh, did a live stream just last night. I, I, I feel like, what was it? Uh, 14 hours ago. So not really a lot to add to that. I wanted to show off some of the bundles uh, that I said I made at the end of the day yesterday. Uh, fantasy bundles. Science fiction bundles. All stuff like uh, 40 to 60% off, depending on different cover prices. Uh, bundles range anywhere from 10 to $15. That's, uh, this, those ones I put down, these are new ones. Uh, you got Social Commentary, it's one of my favorite. Crime, more Marvel. Uh, yeah, I did one of the gigantic stacks that I had left, minus a few things that I pulled out to rethink. Um, and it made me about 20, uh, 25 to 30 bundles. C bundle, uh, Spider-Man bundles. Uh, so I think that worked well, um, for, for it. But now I'm going to put them in the shelf. And I don't know if I have enough room, uh, for the whole rest that I made these bundles. A lot of them might end up going in the dollar things. We're just trying to avoid adding stuff to the dollar bins because, frankly, things from three years ago in the dollar bin is not as uh, tempting as a lot of the stuff that we've got there for, for the average person. The average person uh, looks for characters they know. There's It's much more exciting for them to find an 80s Batman than uh, a Tom King Batman back there in general. Um, not disrespect to Tom King. I, I, you know, five years ago, I would have said it's Scott Snyder. Those are those, they're not hard to come by two years ago as Batman. Uh, but yeah, let's go look at the racks that I made. Sideburns need a little work. They're getting a little crazy. Um, but yesterday, besides for being good, uh, just in general business, was really nice in clearing single issues uh, of the new stuff. See, still plenty of room to fill in this rack, but there was a lot of books. Um, we really moved uh, a lot of, I would say, I don't want to say random, but a lot of various books to people who regularly come in. I have a lot of people who come in on Sunday and see what's new on the shelf to buy one or two things. Um, but also to people just looking for something. So they would get something new because it's a number one, which is why we have the whole big number one rack. Oh, that's not going in nicely. Let's hold off. That's why we have this whole new big number one rack. Um, a lot of people just want to try something out. This gives them something to look at. Um, it doesn't move like it used to. Uh, hey, Joe. All right, I'll, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do boxes today so hopefully this does not you would be surprised how how little this actually moves when i say people are just looking for something to read people are just looking for something to read excuse me i want to say i often end up here for new this week <coughs> rather than over there i'm not really sure if it's because there's an appeal that it's very new whereas that that is uh who knows how old it is it doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, or, more likely, my thinking is that it's overwhelming on that one. There's just too much stuff there. Uh, there's so many number ones, there's number ones, there's number twos, there's things that have number fours. Uh, it's just like, you know what, I'm going to go see what's new. It's, it's a number one, it's only number one. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I have the door open. It's gorgeous weather here. Uh, we're talking, they're, they're saying the high is 78 right now. Um, but we already went past two projections of the weather each hour. Uh, so they've all been like three or four degrees higher than what they've been saying. So imagine we're gonna have like 80 degree weather. I got the shorts on, so my gams. Um, and yeah, I really just, I wanna get the new books out. Um, I wanna get the rest of these bundles made after I put these bundles away and see if there's room left. Um, and I don't know. The weather's so so gorgeous. I can't imagine that after 4 p.m. there won't be people in town. It doesn't mean they'll shop. Uh, it's it's one of the things that I've noticed now that Sundays have gotten busier is that the rest of the week has gotten quieter. I have customers on Mondays and Tuesdays, but there are people who like this is their Sunday or they don't like to come into town when there's a lot of people. But even on nice weather days in general, last Wednesday was crazy, so who knows? Uh, I don't I don't I don't get a lot of people in, but I don't necessarily sell a lot. So. Something to consider. We will see. Uh, check in with me tomorrow. Uh, 
to find out if I was wrong. I would love, I would love to have been slammed all day today to barely get the new books out in time because I had so many customers. It's, it's great, especially yesterday, a bunch of the customers that came in, they're not looking for the hottest latest. So we have plenty of the not hottest latest. And for a lot of people who are browsing, it's now like a real challenge for them not to buy things because the average person, they recognize Heartstopper. They know what Umbrella Academy is. So they keep stopping and looking and it keeps going, oh, I like that show. And here's a comic. That comic looks interesting. Maybe I like it. How do guys, you don't have, you have any Star Trek, right? And I was like, yeah, sure. And I showed him uh, this one yesterday. Star Trek, sorry, my, my thumb is aching. Uh, Star Trek, Deep Space Nine, Dog of War. I've mentioned this one before. Quark is, it's not smuggling because it's through official channels. Uh, a purebred corgi to a specific buyer. Uh, and everyone in the ship sort of falls in love with the dog. And the dog is more than it seems. And Anyway, uh, and he goes, I love that. I, I think I got to buy that. And I said, yeah, we have, you know, dollar books in the back. Loads of different Star Trek. He goes, yeah, I think I'm going to go through for uh, dogs, the, the dog one, but let me see. And he goes in the back. So he bought like five single issues, and I love that. I love when people are like, they're aware something exists, but they don't know if they're going to find it, and boom. Not that we have it, but we have options for them. Uh, I had to have someone emailed me if there's Godzilla stuff. Now, I'll be frank. We have nowhere near the amount of Godzilla stuff we used to. The rivals, every time I restock them, uh, grab a few old, old copies, they fly off the shelf. So, Oh, that reminded me. Something last night I, I thought I was going to say. Um... I said it on yesterday's live stream, and I wanted to make sure I say it every day. Um, I've come to the decision. I made a I made a decision in my head that we will not be doing reorders between now and Free Comic Book Day. I'm going to be closed uh, nine or ten of those days. I mean, I would usually be closed four of them, three of them because of the Sabbath, but whatever. I'm going to be closed nine or ten of those days. Uh, I've got bills enough as it is, and... If you special order, if you said, oh, I want this, obviously we'll order it for you. You put it on the pre-order, obviously we're going to get it for you. We're making our orders. Sunday, Sunday I'm going to make my pre-orders. And next Sunday I'm going to make my pre-orders. Those are still happening. But reorders, like I sold out of all my Avatar, the last Airbender uh, graphic novels, the Jin Yang Gihiru ones. I will put an order in after Free Comic Book Day. Um, same with a bunch of manga series that I, I sold out of the first volumes of. It's just... Too much stuff already. We're about to have a giant clearance sale. I don't want this stuff to show up Thursday right before Free Comic Book Day. I put it out and then it's 15% off and it sells at a discount right after I got it. Like, I'd rather the person buy something else. Really, it's not that I don't want to think to sell. Anyway, um, I'm going to get to work on these bundles. Then I'm going to get to work uh, getting the new comics out, which I have covered I've covered in Free Comics uh, from free, for Free Comic Book Day. Um and yeah, and hopefully be slammed. Uh, until tomorrow, remember, damn it, babies, you gotta be kind. Damn it, babies. Remember, damn it, babies, you gotta be kind.